I think we do. We are short boys today. <laughs> Come join me, Mr. Allen. Where's our boys? I don't know. They're all missing today. I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad all of you are here, too. You guys all scooted all down there. I don't know. Nobody wanted to be by me but you today. <laughs> um, this... Ask me a question. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, this morning, I've been thinking, I've held Robert this morning, my grandson, and he's really itchy this morning. His arms are itching. He's itching so bad that he's making them bleed. Have you ever had like a mosquito bite that makes you want to itch? Yeah. And no matter what you do, you just want to itch it, right? And you itch and you itch and you itch. You just can't control it. There's things in our lives that that happens. Did you ever suck your thumb when you were a baby? Yeah. Yeah. That's one of those things too. Those people that suck their thumbs when they're babies, oh, like my kids, to get them to stop, they, it's just something that they felt like they had to do, just kind of like our itching, right? Well, in Sunday school, does anybody remember what story? I'm not asking you because you weren't there. Does anybody remember what story we talked about last week in Sunday school? Because we're going to talk about it again today. What one, Catherine? You forgot his name. Okay. He prayed, and he prayed, and then the king made a law where you couldn't kill anyone, but he still did. And so he got thrown in a Oh, well, his name was Daniel. His name was Daniel, and you're right. He, there was a law that the king made that you couldn't pray to God, and Daniel did it anyway. And he got thrown in a pit with really, really, really hungry lions. Now, what do you think those hungry lions' instinct is to do that they probably can't control if, if there's somebody thrown into the, the pit with them? What do you think those lions were going to do? They were going to eat him, right? They couldn't control, just like we can't control our itching. Those lions, that's just what they were meant to do, right? If food was thrown into their pit, they were going to eat it. Well, guess what? God did something amazing so that that didn't happen. He sent an angel to cover the mouths of the lions so they couldn't do what they just naturally would want to do, right? Now, when you itch, do your mom and dad help you with something? Do they maybe put some cream on it to make it feel better so you don't itch? Maybe if when you were little and you sucked your thumb, maybe they reminded you or they pulled your thumb out, no thank you. Or if they were really mean, they put like Tabasco sauce on your thumb so it would taste yucky. Sometimes God sends people or angels to help us remember to not do the things that maybe we so badly want to do but aren't so good for us, right? That's kind of, I know that's really not the lesson of Daniel and the lion's den. That's not really what it was all about. But when I was thinking about it, that's kind of what hit me. God closed the mouths of the lions so they couldn't do what they just felt like they needed to do. Just like God sends people to help us control us from doing things that might hurt us, like scratching our skin so much when we shouldn't, even when it itches really, really bad. So today I want you to remember to be thankful for the angels that God sends you in your life, for the people that God sends you in your life, for people like Alan who came up here to be one of our boys today so you know I wouldn't be lonely over here by myself because you're all over there. Um, God sends angels to help us, and God sends people to help us when we need when we need help. And so we want to remember to be thankful for all of those people who help support us and help love us and help us help us do things maybe that, that are good for us, right? Can we say a prayer and thank God for all of those wonderful people? Good morning, God. Good morning, God. We are a thankful people. We are a thankful people. You have blessed us. With all these people around us who support us and love us and take care of us and help us be the best we can be so that we can go out and share your light and love in the world around us. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. All right, if you guys want to stay, stay here for just a minute, the bells are going to play one more song, so i got to go play, and then we're going to go back to Sunday school. Sound like a deal? All right. I'll see you back there in a minute. Miss Catherine's going to...